Hey, I'm Donald Bell for CNET.com. We are at Google's Android Honeycomb event. There's some Motorola Zoom tablets inside that are running Honeycomb. I'm going to go inside and check it out and see what Honeycomb can do. I saw this at CES, but you can actually touch or play around with it. I was curious to see that there's a notification window, and that's now kind of got the yep. general uh, settings down here at the bottom, too, uh -huh. so that you don't have to dive into the actual full settings menu. Exactly. And this is cool, too. You're getting a two-pane view of everything. Exactly. So this is, again, using the concept of fragments, which break up the screen into multiple pieces. Um, so you can, you can jump between them. Here's another actual example. If you jump into Manage Applications, you'll see that there's kind of almost like a breadcrumb navigation that you get. Um, you can flick through and then you can jump back to applications, you can jump to storage, things like that. So navigation is fully, just kind of, it's fully been rethought. Mm -hmm. This music interface is a new interface for you guys too, yep. correct? Instead of you know having the four buttons and things like that or the tabs, you have this kind of uh, drop-down navigation. Um, but really, it's it's kind of again rethought in terms mm. of you know how does this work in a larger space. That's very similar. So the interesting thing with notifications is actually this is something that's changed in the past. Uh, the notification was always there, mm. but now if you press home, for example, or jump into another app, that notification appears in the bottom. Down here, so you, you yep. You can, so you've got your your quick controls for play, pause, and skip. The menu key has become part of this top application bar, and some of them are just more important than others. So we decided that they're all um, up here. That we'll put them front, you know, uh, immediately visible on the screen. Uh, and the secondary items, that's kind of what are what's relegated to this um, to the secondary menu. Right. So this is kind of where the the menu button is gone. And so on all the. All the Google mobile suite kind of apps, like the Gmail, yes. Maps. You jump into Calendar is another example of a, a fragments in the action bar. So again, you have this fragment on the right, you have um, this kind of main fragment, and then you have that action bar with the menu items. And is there anything that you guys have done? I mean, obviously the keyboard is a lot larger. Um, there have been some changes to the actual uh, keyboard functionality, like there's multi-touch now, you can have, you know, you, know, you, can see, you can do things like that. Um, at the same time, there's there's some other changes. They're they're kind of more minor, mm -hmm. um, but the keyboard okay. has had a big kind of revamp. So that was Android Honeycomb on the Motorola Zoom. I gotta say, first impressions, the hardware is beautiful, the screen is really responsive, uh, the touch accuracy is really good. The OS itself, Honeycomb, on the tablet, uh, it does a lot of stuff that Android hasn't done well historically on the tablet size devices yet. Uh, it's killer email, web browsing is really great, uh, the actual repositioning of, of apps and widgets on the screen and being able to drag down different UI elements and the repositioning of the settings down in the corner and the, the contextual menu buttons up at the top. Uh, overall, you can tell a lot of thoughts gone into it. I'm really excited to see this and do a formal CNET review, hopefully soon. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell, coming to you from Google's Android Honeycomb demo.